Hello everybody and welcome to Pretty and Pink. I'm your host Lila and I am your other host Cassie. And today we have a very special episode dedicated exclusively to the cast of Outsiders Musical. This brand new series was released just a couple weeks ago and today we will have all five of the main cast as well as the producer herself, Hannah. That's right, so stay tuned to have your questions answered in this exclusive interview as well as maybe some makeover action. All this is coming up next on Pretty and Pink. Well, hello guys! Welcome to Pretty and Pink! Thank you so much for being here! Thank you so much! Yes, thank you! Thank you, so happy to be here! Yes, very much! I'm so excited! Yeah, so like we mentioned, the first episode was released just a couple weeks ago and the response has been amazing, wouldn't you say? Oh yes, definitely! It must be so amazing to create something and then have people, you know, fall in love with it immediately, wouldn't you say, Hannah? Yes, absolutely. It feels amazing, honestly. I could have only dreamed about people loving the series so much. I mean, there's been so many incredibly sweet comments and, you know, lots of people have done edits and fan art. Oh my god, I love fan art so much. And it's just amazing and I am so, so grateful. It's the first ever LPS musical, right? Oh yes it is, um, at least as far as I know it's the first musical, so it was a little scary of course to um, start it all and because you, you can't know what to expect. I mean people love series, people love uh, music videos, so combining the two it, feel, you know, it felt like a great idea, but you never know until you try. Oh yeah definitely, I love musicals. Oh I do too. So, with any video and series and new characters, anything new really, there has been a lot of questions and we have gathered them from the fans. There's lots to you, Hannah, and also some to the characters, so we are very excited to bring these attention to. So, let's get started, shall we? Yeah, that's great! I'm so excited! So, with it being the first musical, I think it's very appropriate for the first question to be Hannah, what inspired you to make a LPS musical? Okay, so um, I heard these songs by this artist or band, Loving Caliber, as you might have seen in the first episode. Um, they make amazing music, I love their stuff. I heard these songs featuring this one girl um, and I, I really liked her voice. Uh, this later became, you know, for Amy. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of spoke a certain character to me. I kind of got a character in mind when I heard that voice. Um, and, you know, each song is telling a story. So then I kind of tried to figure out, okay, but I have this song and this song and this song. And here she's happy. And in this song she's sad or something. And... I kind of felt like, okay, so what happened between these songs? What happened between the happy song and the sad song? So in a way I just kind of connected the dots and I did write the story around the song. So the songs, the whole story is based on them. So thanks to those, I have this story. So uh, yeah, that's what inspired it. The music inspired it entirely and it was a really fun technique to try. I had never done that before. It's turning out to be one of my favorite projects I've ever worked on. It's so exciting and it's like a music video in every episode. At least that's the way I think of it. So yeah, and you know, we also heard that you hadn't been making a series for like seven years or something. That's a long time. So was it hard for you to start a series after this long? Well, um, it, I have done like mini series. But like this is a full length series, you know, with episodes where you need to watch each episode to kind of understand the whole. I mean, a series is a big deal and I have understood from other LPS tubers, you know, that it takes a lot, a lot of time, a lot of effort. And when you start it, you know, if people like it, they will want to have more. And that's also a pressure, you know, but yeah, it took me a long time to answer the question. It took me a long time to uh, get 
to the point where I felt like I was ready to finally, finally start a series. That's completely understandable. So one question I've been seeing a lot also is questions about Amy. Like who's Amy? What LPS is Amy? <laughs> I'm kinda special. Yes, uh, Amy is actually a um, custom that I made a couple years ago um, based on that uh, short hair with a heart on her face. So I basically took all of that paint off kept the eyes and then painted some pink and she turned out super cute and yeah I love to have a custom as the main character because I've never done that before. That's really exciting too, you're trying a lot of new stuff with this series, huh? Yeah, I guess it's kind of turned out that way. Okay, so another question we've gotten a lot is about shipping. So much shipping is going on with this series and I'm a big shipper myself. I love shipping, you know, couples. So Hannah, is there any specific ships that you have planned for this series? Well, yes, of course, there are some. Uh, actually, there's two main ships, I guess you could say. I don't want to say them because I don't want to spoil anything. I feel like most people have kind of figured it out already though. But yes, there's two main ships planned and then the rest is just up to the fans, I guess. If they want to ship other people, you I mean, you never know. Oh my gosh, that's so true. I feel like some people like ship everybody with everybody. Like <laughs> some fans just want to ship everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not one of those shippers, but I mean, yeah, I do love shipping people. So thank you, Hannah. You are most welcome. <laughs> and also, speaking of ships, gosh, I've seen so many questions about, you know, different ships, who likes who. And there's one specific question that many people asked, and that is to you, Lucas. Do you perhaps have a crush on Amy? Oh, yes, I'm wondering this too. <laughs> uh, well,. Actually, Hannah has kind of forbidden me to say anything as of now because we don't want to spoil stuff to the series. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry guys, but I actually can't let anybody say anything yet. I mean, they have read the scripts and everything, but... Um, that is completely understandable. <laughs> but we can say this, right? That it might be a possibility. Lucas! <laughs> I uh, mean, can't I say that? I guess anything's possible, you know, it's a series, you never know what's gonna happen, so uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now I am super intrigued. Me too! Okay, but there is this whole other romance going on, which is between Amy and Corey, because that is obvious that Amy has a major crush on Corey. That's true, yeah. <laughs> so is that ever going to happen? Is she ever going to get the guy? Uh, uh, well, um... I mean, she's cute and all. I, I don't really think like Amy's my type. Um, but then again, you haven't seen episode two yet, so I don't wanna spoil. Sorry, guys. We'll just have to watch and see, won't we? <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys not spoiling too much. We're just so curious. Okay, so speaking of Corey, I noticed something about you that you happen to not be wearing anything pink at all. Oh yes, that's right! Uh, okay, what's wrong about that? Well, you know, one rule we have here on Pretty and Pink is that you have to be, well, pretty and pink. That's right! Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> it means that we will bring in our pink expert who will give you a makeover. And actually, I noticed that you, Lucas, and Lily happen to not be wearing anything pink either. So to suffer the consequences, you will simply have to have a makeover. A pink makeover, that is. Come on out, Polly. Oh, how wonderful. I've been waiting for this day forever. All right, Polly, explain what you're about to do. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid. Well, hello, first of all, I am Polly, the princess of pink. I love pink. It's the best thing ever. So, um, the Pretty and Pink producers uh, have, um, you know, hired me to help people who don't understand that pink is the obvious choice for apparel. So, I have brought my own special wardrobe of very special items in here to give you guys the best makeover of your lives. Okay, so Corey, why don't we start with you, you pretty great dine? Uh, I don't think I want to do this. 
Oh, there's no harm in it. Don't you worry. Now, I'll just take this bag over here and you can follow me. Because as you might have noticed, I have this very special little, um, what's it called? Uh, cubicle, changing room, whatever, where you can go inside. I will pick up the clothes for you and you will turn out fabulous. So come here, little Cory. Uh, well, I guess if I have to, I'll just fine. So just walk inside here and you will turn out the most fabulous that you've ever been. Good boy, here we go. All right, Cory baby, why don't you come out here and show them how fabulous you are? Um, I'm scared. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I love it. Whoa! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny, you guys. Do I have to wear this throughout the whole thing? Yep, it is your punishment for not wearing anything pink, Mr. Corey. So you are going to have to wear that until this interview is over. Awesome! Yay! So, yeah. Yoo hoo! I noticed that somebody else is not wearing pink. Mm -hmm. uh... <sighs> Yeah, that's right. So Hannah and Amy, you're all good. And Jessenia, you too. Awesome. Yay. You too. Get over here. <sighs> Fine. I guess I'll do it for the publicity or something. This is for you guys. For you. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna look good in pink. Oh, there's no harm in a little pink. Don't you worry. You here, girl? Get in here. Oh. <sighs> Okay, fine. I'm saying my goodbyes. All right, are you ready to come out, darling? Uh, not really. Oh, don't be silly. Get out of there now. Uh, I'm a little afraid. This um, is really um, not my style, like at all. Actually, it makes me wonder whose kind of style this is. <laughs> Don't be like that, okay? This is ridiculous. Don't you worry, darling. Just think pink, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Good luck, bro. <laughs> uh, right. Now come here, my boy. Get in here. You will be turned into the most fabulous thing you've ever seen. Okay, here we go. Bye, world. All right, are you ready for a masterpiece? Come on out, Lulu. Oh, my name is not Lulu, but uh, okay. Fine. Ta-da! What do you think? Don't I look fabulous? Yes, I think so too, Lulu. Now you can go take a seat. Oh, this might have been my greatest masterpiece so far. I think I might cry. No, please don't cry now. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Polly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lucas, first of all, you look fantastic. I love it so much. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you look great, Lucas. And so do I. And so do I. I think you guys look great. Thank you so much, Polly. No, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I love being here. And um, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Polly. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's continue with the interview, shall we? Oh my gosh, I can't get over how awesome you guys look. Lucas and Lily, that's amazing. <laughs> Speaking of Lucas and Lily, um, you guys are twins, right? Because you're basically identical. Obviously not identical because I'm a guy, she's a girl. Um, it's true. <laughs> yeah, and I have to put up with her my whole life. And in the same class, every single year, same, same grade. It's awesome. <laughs> I bet it is. So we had some questions for you guys. We had some questions asked to each character. We were hoping you could give us some peace of mind and, you know, have some good answers. 
we'll do our best. Okay, so firstly we have one for Jesenia here and that is, Jesenia, in this series you're very, very, well I don't know how else to put it, mean and don't seem to be very nice at all. So why is that and have you always been that way? Okay, so I don't know why people have a problem with this, but you know, like, I know what I want and I protect what I want, okay? Is this so hard to understand? I don't think so. And Corey is mine, by the way. Mine, okay? But, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, but to answer your question, yes, she's always been that way. And she always gets what she wants, and she hates it any other way, so... Okay, thanks for that clarification, Hannah. <laughs> Moving on, we got a question for Lily. Lily, so there's a lot of talk about shipping and favorite characters being together. A lot of talk about Amy and Lucas and Corey and Jesenia. But what about you? Do you like someone? Uh, well, <laughs> um, in this series, not really. Um, I'm kind of a single Pringle, and you know what? I like it that way, so yeah. Well, that's awesome. Power to you, Lily. Yeah, um, so Amy, you happen to have a picture of Corey in your bedroom, and we were wondering, as well as the fans, how did you get a picture of him when you don't even know him? Oh, <laughs> well, it's actually not really that creepy at all. It's not like I took it or anything. It's uh, actually from the yearbook. So I have a bunch of yearbook pictures on my pin board. Also with Lucas and Lily. And um, yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. I don't really think it's creepy anymore. It's a little creepy still, you know, you have to be honest, but sure. <laughs> We had another question for Amy, which was, when did you develop a passion for singing? And also, who did you listen to or what music did you listen to growing up? Okay, so I've always loved singing. <laughs> uh, I, it was just, you know, my born passion, I guess. And uh, my mom used to say that I, you know, could sing before I could talk and dance before I could walk, which is a little hard to believe. <laughs> Um, I've always loved it, uh, but I guess when I was about 11 maybe, uh, I really decided that this is what I want to do. Um, singing is my passion, it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, so um, yeah. And while growing up, my favorite, I actually listen mostly to classical music. Um, I still do a lot nowadays too. I actually play piano, which you haven't seen in the series yet, but it will come. <laughs> That is so sweet. So we actually have a question for you next, Hannah. Oh, me again? Yep, that's right. So we were wondering, as well as the fans, of course, how did you come up with the name Outsiders? Because the series is called Outsiders Musical. Um, so Outsiders, why is that? All right, okay, so, well, I guess you could say that I actually wanted to name a video Outsiders for a long time. I don't know, it's just a name I like, and no, it's not based on the book, because I got questions about that. Apparently there's a book called Outsiders that I had no clue about. I'm not from America, people, I don't know all of American culture, I'm sorry. Um, it has nothing to do with the book. Then when I was working on this series, for the longest time, it was actually just called The Musical, because I didn't have a title. Um, I kind of went through, like, or I just remembered this name, Outsiders, and that I wanted to use it. Then I felt, maybe that works. Um, and then I, I realized something about the series that made this so perfect. Uh, but I actually, I can't reveal why yet, because that would kind of spoil things a little. I don't know, in, in the base of it, like, people in the series, I'm not gonna name but people in the series are kind of like on the outside of what they want, like of where they want to be. So in a way, because of that, they are the outsiders. So yeah. Oh, wow. I had no idea. I totally thought it was about like, you know, popularity and them not being popular. So they were like outsiders, kind of outcasts, you know? Yeah, I totally thought that too. That's really interesting, actually. Yeah, well, I wanted to make a high school series that's... It's not about the popularity game. It's not about being popular. It's about getting what you want or who you want. And that's the game, I guess. That's kind of the focus of this series. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to keep watching this series though. I can't wait to see what happens next. Oh my gosh, me too. So Hannah, when is episode two coming out? We are so anxious. Well, the date has been set and people have actually already seen this already, but uh, to mention it again, episode two is coming April 26th. It's a Friday, Friday, April 26th. And based on when this is uploaded, it would be next Friday, isn't it? Oh yes, that's right. So next Friday, April 26th, you will see the second episode of Outsiders Musical. And it will premiere, right? Like the first episode, so people can be there and live chatting with you. Isn't that right? Yes, it will be a premiere and yes, I will be there and I am so excited. Okay, so we have two last questions left and it's one for Amy and one for Lucas that we thought were too cute not to ask. So here we go. Okay, so the first one is for Amy. Amy, what is your favorite thing about Lucas? He's your best friend, right? Oh yeah, Lucas is my best friend ever. And uh, my favorite thing about him would have to be that he's so, you know, caring and compassionate, but also like my biggest supporter I've ever had. He's always supported me in whatever crazy thing I wanted to do, and I love him for it. Aw, thanks, Amy. <laughs> okay, BRB, I just need to get a napkin. Oh my gosh, that's too cute. Okay, Cassie. Uh, gosh, you guys are adorable. I love your friendship so much. Okay, so the next question and the last question is for Lucas. So Amy just described her favorite thing about you. So what is your favorite thing about Amy? Hmm, my favorite thing about Amy would have to be her passion. Like she's just so passionate about her dreams and I guess that's why I'm a big supporter because I'm just so fascinated that like she has a dream and yes it's a big dream but she's going for it like she's not afraid to do it and I think that's just so amazing and I look up to her about that just so so much. Aww, thanks Lou. Aww. Oh my gosh you guys are adorable. <laughs> okay I'm fine. Did I miss anything? Uh, just the best part? What? No! Okay, well, um, I love you guys as you know. I ship you so hard. Please get together as soon as possible. <laughs> no pressure or anything. <laughs> no, but seriously, Hannah, can you make it happen, please? Well, I mean, I am the boss, I'm the writer, so technically, yes, I can make it happen, but I'm not gonna tell you if I will. Oh, come on, Hannah, please! Okay, calm down, Cassie. Stop harassing Hannah about Lumelia, okay? Oh, yes, I love the name. Is that the official ship name, though? Lumelia? Well, I guess. Lumelia, Lumi... I guess both are acceptable. Hey, what about Cormelia? Or Cormi? Yeah, I'm sure we have some Cory shippers out there, too. Comment down below if you ship Cory and Amelia. I think they are adorable, too. Even though we haven't actually seen them be together or do anything or even talk yet, so... Yeah! <laughs> Either way, guys, that was everything we had for today. Thank you so much for coming into this studio. It was so fun having you. Yes, and I am more excited than ever before. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. And the second episode of Outsiders Musical is coming out when, Hannah? April 26th. That's right. Okay, so stay tuned for next Friday, April 26th, guys. You will see what happens next. This is where stuff really kicks off, so I hope you're excited. I know I am. Oh my gosh. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know what you want to see next on Pretty and Pink. Oh yes, we're always open for suggestions. Are there any characters you want to be interviewed? Any challenges? Anything, let us know. And don't forget to stay pretty and stay pink. Bye! Bye! Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for more content. And don't forget to check out these awesome videos too!